If you drop a brick this and a classic. feather at the same time, the brick will hit the ground first. Due to less air resistance. That's because the feather's flat shape spreads out, so it bumps into more air as it falls. Yes, drag force depends heavily on shape. You could conceivably have a reactor with complex geometry, where a blade design for control rods would actually intercept more. Not because the material's different, but because it's a different shape. It's also too light to push against the air. I think what he means, the ratio of surface area to mass is high, so drag force has a much greater effect than the feather's weight. It falls slowly. Now the brick has more area for the air to press on, but it's sure. heavy and compact, so it cuts through the air more easily and doesn't slow down much. Again, it's ratio. Kind of like a uranium fuel pellet versus a hydrogen atom. Both have a surface in which to interact with, but uranium's huge mass makes it far less affected by individual collision, which is why hydrogen's just gonna bounce all over the planet. Meaning it'll fall first. But if you put them in a vacuum chamber okay. and take away all the air, there's nothing to slow either one down. Gravity actually pulls everything down at the same time, no matter how heavy it is. I remember astronauts did this on the moon, and yes, that's true. So as they fall side by side, they actually hit the ground at the exact same time. Just like criticality in a reactor, multiplication is consistent.